Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So in this video I'm going to be trying on a bunch of new makeup from a brand that recently launched at Walmart called Found. And this is going to be kind of more of a chit chat, get ready with me type of format than usual. So if you don't like the chit chat and you just are here for the information, I'll be sure to link the product I talk about and the timestamp down in the description box below. So feel free to skip around because this probably will be a little bit more chatty than usual. I'm just in a chatty, casual mood. So with that, let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first product I'm going to be using is their face primer. They have several different face primers. This is the one that I got because of my skin concerns and it is their smoothing face primer. The cool thing about this brand is that they really pride themselves on being an all-natural brand brand and they put on most of their products right on the front they have this 90% or the percentage of natural ingredients that make up this product and unlike a lot of other makeup companies they do have the ingredients very clearly listed and they are easy to understand ingredients this is kind of a new trend we're seeing in the beauty world people are starting to want to know where their makeup's coming from what's in it rather than it just being a good makeup product they want it to be healthy and not be doing damage on their skin so there's definitely been a shift in the market and I'm excited that Walmart is kind of stepping up to the plate and they picked up this new brand. I think I read in the Allure article about this that a bunch of you tweeted me so thank you for that. I think in that article they said that there's 133 products that launched with this brand which is a relatively new brand if I'm not mistaken. So obviously I don't have that many products to try. I just got a sampling and if I like the products that I'm testing today I'll probably go back and get more. But we're just going to see how this goes. There is one product that I purchased that I'm not going to be trying right now because I already have my moisturizer and treatment on for the day but I also picked up this which is their firming chia seed face oil it's supposed to replenish moisture and preserve the look of youthfulness so who doesn't want that this is 99% natural and it's rich with chia seeds and fatty acids so it's supposed to really plump up the skin so I'm gonna be playing around with this this month and I can let you guys know like in my favorites video or in another video how this goes I'll keep you posted See, I told you this is going to be a chatty video. Okay, so back to the primer. I am going to be applying this all over my face because it doesn't claim to change the longevity of your makeup or keep you shine free. It's really just a smoothing primer. It says this silky lightweight primer fills in the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and pores. So this has bilberry and peach fruit extracts. It says native to Europe, bilberry is known for its skin soothing properties. So let's see if this blurs my wrinkles and pores. That would be lovely. So it comes out in this kind of clear consistency, and this is what the packaging looks like up close. It's a nice squeeze tube bottle and really fresh and simple looking packaging. Okay, so I'm just going to apply this with my clean fingers. They are clean. It doesn't feel silicone-y, at least in my hands. It feels kind of watery and just hydrating. Ooh, and it's very cooling on the skin. It doesn't really have... A strong smell at all. I thought I smelled something at first, but it doesn't smell like anything. So I don't feel like it really made a difference in how my pores look. They still look enlarged. It's not like that L'Oreal primer that really fills in the pores or the NYX pore filler. It doesn't give that kind of effect, but it does make my skin feel very smooth and like it's an even canvas. But I like the way it feels. I like that it doesn't really smell like anything and that it is 90% natural. So Let's go ahead and go in with the next product, which is the foundation. I'm really excited about this. This reminds me a lot, actually, of the Burt's Bees foundation. It's got the clear glass bottle and the brown, the dark brown pump. It actually looks pretty much identical. Let's see what it says. I'm, I just pulled up Walmart's website because this one doesn't list the percent natural that it is on the front or on the back. So I'm going to look and see on their website. It says, found nourishing liquid foundation with raspberry oil is a 90% natural. Okay, so it's the same as the primer. It says the lightweight liquid foundation creates a flawless looking finish. Mineral pigments perfect the look of skin with buildable coverage. And it's made with raspberry seed oil and clover flower to moisturize and hydrate the skin for a silky radiant complexion. So this is also supposed to be hydrating and smoothing on the skin. 
So my skin between the primer and the foundation should be looking pretty smooth here shortly. So I'm just gonna pump some of this on the back of my hand and apply to the right side of my face using my Ulta Beauty Sponge that I love. Definitely a light coverage when applied with the beauty sponge, but I feel like this color is pretty good for me. So I just got back from Florida from the holiday weekend and my husband's whole family lives down in Florida. They're on the Gulf side. So they live down there near the Panhandle and that's who we were visiting when we were down there. There was actually a family reunion and while we were down there is when all of the Irma news started breaking and I know Georgia is probably going to be affected by it but not nearly as bad as the people in Florida. So if you are in the hurricane zone in Florida or if you were in Houston, I just want you to know I'm thinking of you. I'm so sorry. I just can't believe all of this is happening right now. It just seems like one thing after the other. But I try and find the silver lining in these types of situations and I feel like the only silver lining here is that these horrible, horrible things that are happening and natural disasters are actually really uniting the country and uniting everyone to kind of work together. Because at the end of the day, we're all pretty helpless when it comes to natural disasters. So I just love seeing people come together and be there for each other. Sorry, we got deep there in application of foundation, but I really like the way that this looks. It looks really healthy. It looks like a sheer natural coverage, but it did, if you compare it to this side of my face, it did really even out my skin tone and just make it look a lot fresher. So I really like the way it applied with this sponge. But let's see if when applied with a brush, if it has a little bit more coverage for those of you that prefer fuller coverage foundations. And for that, I'm going to be using this BS Mall face angled brush that I got off of Amazon. Definitely looks like more coverage on this side with the brush. So if you do like a fuller coverage, I would say go with the brush. If you like the more natural sheared out foundation, go with the sponge. I actually prefer the way this side looks already compared to this side. There are a couple little spots. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it in a close-up. There are a couple spots on this side of my face that look a little bit dry on the side where I use the brush. So I'm going to go back over those with my sponge just with nothing else on it and just see if I can reduce the look of dryness. Okay, so the next product I picked up was this Found Full Coverage Concealer. So this will be quite the contrast to this very sheer, natural looking foundation and much more of a full coverage as or so it claims and I got this in the shade light. The only thing I will say is that I got this in a box from Walmart which Walmart by the way now has two days shipping free I think if you meet their minimum so I don't know whose fault this was if it's a faulty product or if it was just the delivery I'm assuming it's the packaging and delivery. This concealer definitely got pretty damaged in the mail. So the tip of it is dented and the entire stick was popping out. So I'm going to give them a pass on that because I do think it was the shipment's fault. But just a heads up, if you do order this online, I did have that issue. So this concealer is 92% natural and it says a creamy concealer with buildable to full coverage, highly pigmented to cover up blemishes and uneven skin, juniper berry and bilberry, calm, soothe, and enhance the overall complexion. Okay, so I think this got turned around because this is supposed to be facing the other direction. Yeah, so you guys can see this entire thing popped out. But let's just push it back in there and still give it a shot. I'm going to apply this just underneath my eyes. Definitely a thicker consistency and kind of a drier consistency. Let's try blending this out with my Ulta sponge. Not easy to blend out at all. And this is a mess. Look how cakey my under eye area looks now. All right, let me try my finger on the other side and see if I can salvage this. Do you see how when I'm pressing my finger on top of it, it's not moving? So I really don't wanna drag it, but I think I'm gonna to need to do that. So I would say you need to kind of rub this around with your finger because a patting motion is not going to make it move and a sponge is not gonna make it move and that dragging motion takes away from the coverage. And so I would definitely not consider this a full coverage. And I would say run for the hills if you have dry skin. I'm gonna pop on some of my Maybelline Fit Me underneath my eyes just because I don't feel like that did very much concealing at all. Okay, so I blended out the concealer on top of it. It's still looking pretty cakey and dry underneath my eyes. 
because of this concealer so I would say this so far is the only fail but I went ahead and set underneath my eyes with my number seven powder but I haven't sent the rest of my face because I'm also going to be using this new product from them the found radiant illuminating drops these reminded me of the cover FX drops in terms of packaging and just the concept of them so I'm really excited to try this I believe this came in two colors I got mine in the shade sun kiss the other one looked a little bit more of like a pinky undertone whereas this is more of a golden undertone okay so this is 93 3% natural. I feel like we're moving up. Started at 90, now we're at 93. This is made with passion fruit oil that will highlight the skin and create a radiant finish. Light reflecting pearl pigments illuminate the skin and passion fruit oil will provide a deep moisturization for a dewy finish. So I thought this was a lot bigger than it is online. If you look at it compared to the foundation, it's just a little guy. This is 0.3 fluid ounces. And it does have a dropper applicator, but this applicator is so saturated that I don't think I'm actually going to need to use the dropper. I'm just going to put some of this on the back of my hand and I'm just going to use the smaller side of my beauty blender to apply it to the tops of my cheekbones. I feel like that's just the most beautiful, natural, dewy glow. It doesn't look like a blinding highlighter. It just looks like a fresh glow. And I actually, since I didn't haul an eyeshadow from them, I'm also going to apply this to my eyelids just to give it that nice glossy lid effect. All right, and the next product I got, and I tried to get products that I felt like weren't going to be the standard products everyone was going to pick up. They did have a highlighting palette and they had a translucent powder and things like that but I wanted to try these drops as well as this powder because I thought it looked a little bit more interesting. This is their found pore clay. It's a white clay mattifying powder and this is 99% natural. So that really attracted me to it as well as the packaging being so unique. So this is supposed to be one of those products you can just throw in your purse because it's got the powder on this end and the brush on this end and you can just quickly re apply throughout the day. It says that this powder will absorb oil for a natural finish. So, whoa, oh my gosh, it's like pouring out right now. Okay, so don't shake it. Let's just go ahead and apply. Definitely mattifying the skin, but it looks very natural, like a natural matte. And I think the concept is really, really cool. And you can kind of close it up like this with the brush so you can put the cap back on. I really like that. Don't shake it when you open it. I think just the emotion of putting it on your face makes the product come out. That was my bad, but it's 99% natural. I love that. All right, next up we've got the Found Baked Bronzer. I thought this looked like a stunning baked bronzer. I got mine in the shade Golden Bronze. And they also had baked blushes on Walmart's website, but they were all sold out. So this one is 90% natural. We're going back down, but still pretty good. It's made with rose hip oil, which you guys know I love. It's part of my skincare routine to nourish and visibly improve skin texture. It also has guava in it to keep the skin toned and refreshed. So I love that all of this makeup is doing good things for the skin, that it's more natural ingredients, and that it's so affordable. I don't know if I mentioned that everything in this range is between $2 and $15, which is super super reasonable okay so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this with my favorite bronzing brush of the moment and it is the wet n wild powder brush a lot of pigment came up on here top off the excess i probably could have gone a shade darker this isn't really showing up that well on my skin tone but i think i can build it up i don't know if i mentioned it to you guys in my q a video or if I've mentioned it to you guys on Snapchat, but if I do miss an upload, I usually upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If I do miss a day in these coming weeks, it is because my sister is actually nine months pregnant right now. She is literally nine months pregnant. She is super due. She's so ready to have this baby. It's gonna be the first grandchild in our family. It's gonna be a girl, which I am thrilled about because I always wanted a girl for when me and my husband have kids. But now the pressure's off because I'm gonna have a niece, so I can just spoil her to death and then if I have boys, that's fine. This is applying beautifully. Again, I feel like I could have gone a little bit deeper. This would be gorgeous on a fairer skin tone than mine because like I said, I did just get back from the beach, so I have a little bit more color than usual, but it's building really nicely. And it looks really pretty with these dewy drops. And I'm gonna go in with my blush. This is the Burt's Bees blush in toasted cinnamon that I have been loving. But yeah, if any of you guys are ants, um, to nieces let me know what it was like when you first met your little niece I feel like I'm just gonna instantly love her it's so crazy that this sister that I've known my whole life she's two years older than me we've done everything together our whole lives 
that she is going to be a mom. Like she's still the sister in my head that played Barbies with me, that did stupid things in high school, but she is about to be a mother. It's just crazy how life works. And I am so, so thrilled. So I just wanted to give you guys the heads up. If that does happen, I'll let you guys know. That's probably why I'm in like a more chatty, happy mood today because like every time my phone rings, I jump and I'm just so, so excited. I'm gonna keep it really simple on the eyes today because like I said, I did not get an eyeshadow palette. I got a eyeliner and a mascara. So I got this found eye defining eyeliner pencil in the shade black. This is a mineral rich eyeliner with rose hip and comfre extract for a silky and even application. It doesn't say on here the percentage, so I'm gonna look on Walmart's website. Okay, so we're getting back up there. This one's 96% natural, so that's awesome. I'm just gonna warm it up on the back of my hand and apply, and I can't talk while I'm doing eyeliner, so I'm just going to get it on and I'll be back. Okay, so that's one eye done, and I just double checked that I got black, but this is black. It did start gliding on. It's very easy to apply. I like that it's a roll-up applicator. You guys know I like that. But this is just not a black eyeliner. This is definitely more of a gray eyeliner. So this is what this eyeliner looks like. Next to, this is the Essence Black Eyeliner. Just so you guys can see the difference. So not a bad formula, but don't expect a very black black if you do go with this color. But because it's like this gray color, I might wing it out and just see if it looks like a softer version of a cat eye. Not my best idea, but we're just gonna go with it and move on. Not a big fan of the eyeliner, and that is definitely I'm very mad about it. Let's see if we have better luck with the mascara. So this is the Found Volumizing Mascara. This has a nettle seed extract and waxes to ensure smooth, clump-free application. So hopefully this is a little bit blacker than the eyeliner. Okay, so I just zoomed you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and apply. This is what the wand looks like. It does have that hourglass shape, so I'm excited. Okay, so that's with the one layer. It's definitely looking clump-free. I would say I already like this one like the applicator of this one better than the Burt's Bees mascara. And that was 100% natural, but this one's 98% natural and I would say I like it better. Ooh, the second layer is making big moves. Looking pretty good. I'm impressed by this. It's no Lash Paradise or Lash Sensational, but for a 98% natural mascara, I am impressed. Okay, so for lips, I have kind of a lip kit type of concept. It's a package that comes with a lip liner and a lipstick. I got mine in the shade Caramel. And this is the only product that I cannot find a percentage that it is natural. So I'm not sure why that is or if I'm just missing it, but I cannot figure out how natural it is, but it does still have evening primrose oil, marula, and berry wax to moisturize the lips and keep it comfortable. So I am curious to see how this goes because it's supposed to be a matte liquid lipstick, but at the same time, it has the oils in it to keep it comfortable. So we'll see if that is actually true. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips first. Definitely not a very pigmented lip liner. It's going on quite sheer. So let's see if we have better luck with the actual lipstick. Definitely doesn't smell all natural. It smells like a regular matte liquid lipstick. Not very pigmented. And that also went on quite sheer. Even after layering it, I can still see through my lips. So it's definitely not an opaque lipstick. It feels very, very nourishing. It doesn't feel matte at all. So we'll see if it does dry down. But I would say I am not very impressed by these. So those are all of the products I wanted to try from Found Beauty. I will update you guys down in the description box on all of these products if anything of note happens because I feel like this video has already gotten very, very long. I'm looking at the timestamp and it's gotten very long. So I don't wanna make it any longer by doing a check-in. So if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below and I will leave updates as well next to the names of each of these products as well as the link to them. So I'll definitely keep doing the more informative type of videos as well, but I want to start incorporating more of these get ready with me or just casual videos as well. So I would love your feedback. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you do like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that I do know and we'll make more videos just like this one. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye.